If you're looking for the cheapest 20mm f2.8 full frame autofocus lens for Sony, this is it right here. It comes in at $158, which makes no sense. And it's very rare that the price of a lens is the reason to buy it. This is the exception. And all the issues that it has are almost excused by the fact that it costs as much as it does. It's so cheap that you really just can't not try it if you're just getting started, if you've been wondering about a 20mm focal length for a while, you're just trying to buy budget-friendly lenses. This should be the top of your list. Now, one of the arguments for this is going to be, why put a super cheap lens on an expensive body like a a7R5 or an A7C Mark II? Because the video quality and the photos, they're just not going to look good. And normally I'd agree with you, but this actually really isn't that bad whatsoever in terms of image quality. Yes, it's not the sharpest in the middle and at the edges and the corners, it really does get a little bit worse. If you stop down a little bit, it does get better. But still $158, you can still take photos that are completely usable. You can still use it for video because the autofocus is accurate. It's a little bit louder than what I'm used to and it is a little bit slower, especially compared to things like Sony and Tamron lenses, but it's still not bad for $158. Now use cases for this lens, what are you using a 20 mil for? Well, I'm seeing more and more people use, including myself, 20 mils now opposed to like a 24 mil. Most of the Sony cameras these days have active stabilization in them, meaning if you want to use it handheld, you very much can. And when you want to use a 24 mil and you put active stabilization on it, it crops in a little bit. So you're not really getting that 24 mil look anymore, which a lot of people really like. That's where a 20 mil can come in handy because now you're getting much closer to that 24 mil look and have the added benefit of the active stabilization. 20 mil is wide enough that it's still a super wide, but it doesn't have like that 16 mil look where things start to get skewed and the perspective's all kind of off. On a gimbal, it's going to be completely fine. 20 mil is actually a really good lens for throwing on your gimbal and flying for real estate, for event coverage. If you're just getting into that, it might not be the widest for real estate, but if you need something cheap to get you started, this is it. If you want to shoot YouTube videos, you maybe just grabbed a ZV-E1 or a bargain Sony A6100. Throw this on it. That's a very cheap sell. It's a very, very simple lens. There is nothing to it, really. It's a piece of plastic, a few pieces of plastic. The back is made of metal. It doesn't feel horrible. It feels just like any other Viltrox lens that you've probably used before. Mine is definitely not wearing well. I wouldn't expect it to for the cost. Did take it to Mexico with me and there's still actually sand from the beach. <laughs> you can probably see on there. And uh, there's no weather sealing on this whatsoever. And I can tell you that because you know when you're in a really hot environment and you have an AC and then you go back and forth between the two and you start to see moisture on the front of the lens? Well, I got that, but I also got it on the inside of the lens. And uh, it did take a little while for it to disappear. And it kind of gave everything like a natural halation for a little while, which was interesting. And then when I actually wanted to take pictures with it, I couldn't, so I had to wait for the moisture to get out of there. So know that it is definitely not weather sealed. You've got no features on this whatsoever other than just a focus ring, that's it. You can't even change the focus ring to do anything else. There's no aperture ring, there's no buttons, no manual focus, autofocus switch. You're doing that on whatever body you are using. Now you do actually have on the back a USB-C port there, which I would worry about in terms of not being weather sealed. You could very easily ruin the whole lens by getting a little bit of moisture in there. But there is one there, so if Viltrox does decide to do firmware updates in the future, which I'm sure they will, then you will be able to update the firmware and maybe get better performance in terms of autofocus. Got a 19 centimeter minimum focus. There's also a tiny little lens. If you put it on the A7C2, this might be a really great case for it. That's it, it's tiny. Really, really nice. It's a cute little setup that. 52 mil filter thread there on the front. And uh, yeah, you can see mine is, as I said, it's it's not wearing very well. There's somehow salt water on here and sand, even though I didn't even get it wet. And uh, there's scratches and everything on there, and you can see it scratches very, very easy on the finish, but it's also 158 bucks. What do you get in the box? Not a lot. You wouldn't expect to get a lot, really, for the cost it is. You get the lens, the caps, and uh, a very cheaply made lens hood, which doesn't actually lock. It just screws on. So they really cut every possible corner they could with this, but it is what it is. 